here is the yarn that I'm going to dye today. It's a merino wool and what I did first was I took two chairs and set them as far apart as I could and wrapped the yarn around them and then I just tied it off about every six inches or so to help keep it from getting tangled up and it's been soaking in some lukewarm water for about 10 or 15 minutes and the colors that I'm going to use today I have black cherry, strawberry, and pink lemonade Kool-Aid and just some regular mason jars and a pot of water that has just a couple inches in it and I'm going to take my yarn out of the sink now and squeeze out the water and then I'm going to mix up my Kool-Aid and put it in the jars and then put the yarn into the jars and then I'm going to put them in my pot over here and put it on the stove just until it starts to boil and then I'm going to turn the heat off and let it set until it cools down enough so that I can take out the yarn. Okay, I have my Kool-Aid in my jars now and in the first jar I have a whole pack of the black cherry. In the second jar I have a um, two packages of the strawberry Kool-Aid in my third jar is not quite half a pack of the black cherry and then I have two packages of the pink lemonade and then in my last jar I have not quite half a pack of the pink lemonade so I'm trying to get a dark to light or light to dark color in my yarn here. Okay, uh, one thing I wanted to mention when you're filling up your jars with the water, don't fill them up all the way because when you put the yarn in it can cause it to overflow. Um, so I have my jars in my pot now and I've arranged them from dark to light and now I'm just going to go ahead and put my yarn into my jars of Kool-Aid water. Okay, I'm just going to find uh, the end of my yarn and I'm just going to squeeze it out a little bit as I go along. And I'm just going to put it into my jars here that are inside my pot. You can put as much in each jar as you want. It doesn't really matter how you divide your colors up. You just want to make sure too that your water is not too hot. Keep it kind of cool or lukewarm otherwise the yarn will start to absorb the color as soon as you put it in and then it, it kind of just doesn't turn out right if your water is too warm. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting my yarn into my Kool-Aid and then I'll show you what that looks like once I'm done. Okay, I have all my yarn in my jars now and you can see some of it is um, still white. It's not in the jars. That's okay. Usually what I do, I'll just take it and um, tuck the end down in just to get it colored a little bit. And then I'll just kind of leave it hanging out. And you can wear gloves if you want, otherwise your fingers are going to turn colors. And if you don't mind that, then you don't have to worry about the gloves. Just make sure that I get all of my yarn colored here. I don't really want any white spots. Okay. Alright, so once my yarn is all ready to go, I'm just going to put it on the stove and 
let this heat up just until it boils and then I'm going to turn off the heat and just let it set for a while until it cools down enough so that I can handle the yarn. Okay, my uh, yarn has cooled down a little bit so I took it off the stove and I dumped some of the water out but I just wanted to show you before I dumped the rest out that you can see the water in my jar is clear so all the color from that Kool-Aid is in my yarn. So now all I'm going to do is take my yarn out and I'm going to put it back in the sink so that I can rinse it off. Okay, here's my yarn and I'm just going to rinse it off to make sure that there's no extra color hanging out in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to squeeze out all of my excess water that's in here and then I'm just going to hang it up to dry and then it will be ready to wind into a ball. So to get the extra water out, I'm just gently going to squeeze. You don't want to twist or rub the yarn together. Just gently squeeze it out. And then to dry this, I'm just going to put this over like one of those little wooden laundry dryers until it's dry and then it will be ready for me to knit with. But here is my yarn with Kool-Aid.